Building Information Modeling, or BIM, is a mandatory requirement when procuring and delivering central government construction projects. BIM is about creating and using a 3D intelligent model for planning, designing, building and managing the built environment. To support these BIM workflows, CADLINE offer a suite of government accredited software that not only adheres to standards such as Part L2, but also creates value by combining engineering design process within a project integrates workflows with automated model checking and healing. This is the process, starting with the original 3D model created in Revit architecture or a similar package, the geometry can be loaded into EDSL TAS. This is CADLINE's dynamic simulation package. Then there's MEPWORKS, where the mechanical and electrical services are designed and admittance method calculations are performed before being finally transferred to the completed engineering design to Autodesk Revit for 3D coordination. Let's see how this works in the short system walkthrough. Starting with our original Revit model which uses the industry standard GBXML, which is the 3D geometrical room information that most 3D packages create. We import the GBXML file containing our building model information into TAS. The TAS 3D modeler introduces a preview of the geometry seen here. During the process, TAS analyzes and corrects any gaps in the geometry to make the simulation run quickly and easily. It generates a report listing all these fixes. If the original model needs revision, such as adding roof lights, we can import the revised geometry into TAS. We see a preview of the version 2 model, plus a list of all the fixes TAS has undertaken. While we are using a Revit model here, TAS supports any 3D architectural package that uses GBXML. Information such as zones, internal conditions, occupancy and scheduling can be imported into TAS as part of the simulation. These results are fed into MEPWORK software as either room demands or real-time simulation generated from modelling the building plant. Let's import the GBXML geometry from the Revit model. This populates the MEPWORKS model ready to start our mechanical or electrical design. To coordinate lighting or grills, ceiling tiles can be added on a global basis or a room by room basis. We move now into the energy program where you can perform the admittance method calculation. Select the task file to preview the results such as heat gains and losses along with the required flow rate. If we decide to set up some pipe routes, MEPWORK sets up a pipe selection criteria from a range of manufacturer's components. If you're designing a heating system, placement of radiators is straightforward. Select the room space and position the radiators based on the number of fixed window panels present. You can also select the mounting height and connection philosophy. There is a search facility here that allows the user to choose radiators and valves from a range recommended by the software. Pipework can be connected easily on the floor plan by selecting our flow selection and routing the pipework on the floor plan. These pipes can be connected to their respective headers and the radiators by an auto connect emitters route. Calculations are performed for all pipe sizes. Here you can see results, pump duty, summaries and schedules. Further items of interest such as pumps and boilers can also be inserted. In MEPWORKS mechanical plumbing and ducting systems are designed at the same time. We can see the 3D layout on each floor on a system by system basis, allowing you to see the services in context with the buildings, walls, floors and roof. You can import the selected services and populate the Revit 3D coordinated model from the MEPWORKS engineering design model. For further information, please contact the Building Services Division on 01924 442 333.